Hello, it's the great and glorious, soon to be famous one day, Nick Dutch here yet again. Uh, back on the microphone at the moment, not back on the camera. Anyway, the subject of today's video, um, stroke audio entertainment, is get informed. Now, we're, you know, this is going out on the internet. The internet is a forum of rubbish, you know. Um, a very wise man uh, once suggested that the internet was just uh, like a large cosmic toilet door um, full of the scribbles of people who don't know what they're talking about. Now, it is peculiar that uh, one phrase which carries on cropping up is that of get informed. And this is with subjects such as the aliens, the Illuminati, um, the global economic decline, um, about the currencies of the Western world going to pot, this is, you know, um, H1N1, everything. So get informed, get informed, get informed. Well, firstly, I want to have a look at what it means to get informed. I'm sitting in front of my computer as normal. I've got dictionary.com up there. And I've just typed in the word informed to see what it says. I'm going to run through a few definitions, and then we're just going to discuss it, okay? Okay, from the top, informed having or prepared with information or knowledge, uh, or in the terms of appraised, an informed audience that asked intelligent questions. So we're already seeing it's, it's, it's being prepared or to have information or to be people who have information who are asking intelligent questions in a situation of appraisal. OK, the origin of the word informed seems to be uh, possibly 1400s or afterwards. Okay, a few more definitions of the word inform. To give or impart knowledge of a fact or circumstance. For instance, he informed them of his arrival. Uh, also, to supply oneself with knowledge of a matter or subject, such as he or she informed herself of all the pertinent facts. Also, to give evidence, sorry, to give evidence, substance, character, or uh, distinction to pervade or permeate with uh, manifest effects. A love of nature informed his writing. Okay, so the word informed has a number of different meanings. It's normally to do with um, an elaboration or to receive or give information somehow. So if we could use the phrase get informed, that would be like someone telling you to acquire some information. Now, what is information? Information is not necessarily factual or true. 2 plus 2 equals 5 is information. All right, I can turn around to you and say 2 plus 2 equals 5. And the fact that you've listened to it in this recording shows that you have now been informed that 2 plus 2 equals 5. It's not a fact, all right? Just as, I don't know, the fact, you know, the, the, the idea that aliens um, descended from some UFO and, and now possess the bodies of people somewhere in Nevada is um, not fact. It's not true. But people are informed of this information. What I'm concerned about is the accents. The accents of the phrase, get informed. All right. What kind of person would come out with the phrase, get informed? Well, the insinuation there is that you lack knowledge. That the person who is telling you to get informed is somehow superior within a certain field of expertise or knowledge than you are. And that person is a trustworthy source, despite the fact that we've already worked out, we've already found out, that information is not necessarily a fact. Information could, in fact, be a lie. Information is 2 plus 2 equals 5. That's information. It's a lie, but it's still information. So the very idea of get informed, when someone tells you to get informed, what they're doing is they're presenting themselves as an example of what it means to be informed. 
and telling you to be like them. That's bad. That's wrong. But that's what they do. Get informed. You know, it's an incredibly powerful expression, incredibly powerful phrase. How else is the idea used? Some individuals would instead of having a sufficiently inquiring mind to turn around and say, well, hang on a minute, you say that 2 plus 2 equals 5, but maybe, just maybe, you're wrong. But some individuals don't do that. They say that I know that 2 plus 2 equals 5 because I listened to someone who was already informed and knows about these things. Mm, they know about these things. One of these greatest um, forms, this one of these greatest forms of rubbish, okay, that, that I've heard, is that the whole idea and concept of guilt, for instance, never existed on the face of this planet until the Jews appeared on the planet, until the you know the, the Jewish religion was created. What the hell? My cat understands guilt. If my cat brings a mouse into the house and I shout at my cat, the first thing the cat will do is just run away and hide somewhere from me. But the next day, the cat will come in and actually demonstrate the behavior of a mammal that is being apologetic. My dog, if I tell my dog off for something, he will show signs of guilt. If he does something and he knows it's wrong because I disapprove of it, because I've demonstrated that I disapprove of it, he will, you know, he'll come into the house with his, you know, his tail down. He'll look at me anxiously. But yet, some people will say things like, "No, I know the concept of guilt. Only came on the face of this planet because of the Jews, because I listened to someone who knew about these things." It's like saying two plus two equals five, and I know it's two plus two equals five because someone else told me. Someone else who was an informed individual told me. What other forms of uh, rubbish do we have out there? Well, naturally, we've got Alex Jones and all of his lies about solar forcing. What else have we got? We've got the uh, lies about the Illuminati. We've got the lies about 2012. Uh, we've got the lie. <laughs> you know, this is the internet. This is the biggest toilet's door on the face of the planet. It's all hovering up there in cyberspace and being downloaded onto our PCs and monitors on a daily basis. But it's this, this whole cult of um, guru worship, this whole cult of worship of informed people or allegedly informed people that I'm furious with. You know, I'm, I'm just... I really am upset by this because thanks to the internet, all right, if you've got incredibly good like graphic skills and presentation skills and all the rest of that, you could probably build up an audience of people who could just absorb your shit and broadcast your shit to other people. And thus the quantity of shit in the world will just get bigger and bigger and bigger as time goes by because of this um, myth of informed. It's, it, it, being informed means to absorb information. It does not mean to come closer to the truth, okay? It goes against the scientific method, okay? Research is, is important to a certain degree and within certain limits. But being informed does not mean coming closer to the truth. And I just wanted to make that point today. Good fortune, God and or goddess and or none of the above bless. Speak to you in a while. Bye for now.